Hello, the final thing I'd like to show you is how to annotate a PowerPoint presentation that you have already made. That's the crucial thing here. It has to be a PowerPoint presentation that you've already made. It's a completed PowerPoint. You could go back and add to it later through PowerPoint, but you can't annotate while you're editing slides. To do this, you have to be on the tool palette and you click on the About PowerPoint Presentation button. You find the PowerPoint you'd like to annotate or add to. I'm going to start with the Earth vs. Jupiter PowerPoint. And so let's say you're using this to teach kids all about important things. You go through and you say, okay, here's the PowerPoint to change pages. You click on these arrows here. So I'm going to click on the arrow to move to the next page. You can still follow all the links that you've made on the PowerPoint number of moons. So if you have hyperlinks on your PowerPoint, they still work. But what's really neat is, let's say you want to teach your kids what they have to do. You say, okay, every paper needs to have a title. So you're going to show your kids. Let's underline. I accidentally moved the drawing 10. You're going to underline the title. So then they're like, okay, the kids know they have to have a title. Then, and you can write title. There's title. Then you click on the arrow go to the next page you're like up oh, every paper needs to have a table of contents this time you don't want to underline it you want to highlight it so you just highlight table of contents that doesn't come out very well with my black background um, then you go to circumference and you're saying all right you got to tell the size of the circumference of both and so you circle you go to the kids it's got to be both you can't just tell me the circumference of one in the project you got to tell me the circumference of both planets so you highlight that form. So like, oh, okay, there's the highlight. Then you say once again, you got to tell me the composition, not of just of one planet, but of both planets. And so you circle the examples that they're both planets are mentioned in there. And then you click through, and you have your numbers of moons. And you say, all right, once again, kids, you got to show me that both planets had a certain number of moons. And so you circle both Earth and moons for them to see, so that way they can find those key points. Then you have your bibliography. Then you click out there, and you close it, and now, as I said before, all these things are saved on the slideshow. They're not saved permanently. I still have one more step to do, but uh, they're there. They've been added to the slides. What I have left to do finally is I need to go up and actually save the PowerPoint. So I can save as. I have my regular PowerPoint, so I'm going to do save as because I don't want to change over to that one. I'm going to say Earth vs. Jupiter with annotations and then I hit save and I have a brand new PowerPoint where I can then come down here and display it and when we go through it it has all those cool things that I've added even if I'm not using the eBeam to click through it, it would still be there thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it have a good day